Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ifeolu Oshoke and Nimi Dekombi. Gang, gang. How you doing? Happy New Year, guys. If I stop, <laughs> just stop. Like the sixth day already. <sighs> Man, boy, it feels like it's still first of January. Is this month's movie? Because you're stop? eating too much. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, it's going very fast. <laughs> yeah, so eating too much. It's making me feel like I'm getting broke at the beginning of the month. And exactly. it's, you know, sweet. Because you're, for me, it already feels like January. I feel like there, there has been like two weeks already. You know? In January. So many And you're expecting it to be like January 20 something already. Yeah. And then you check, it's just six. It's just January 6th. So, I think no, it's still I'm not, I'm not vibing with you people right I now. Do. I don't understand. You, you can relate. You, you had some late Let's things get... that helped your situation. We Let's that we had it early. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Okay, it's already 6th of January, like they rightly said, and you might think it's late for 2020 tips. But Nollywood actress Stella Damasos is um, dishing out some tips for the new year. She says, Be selfish with your peace of mind, a principle she will also live by this year. She said, and I quote, It may sound self centered and arrogant, but those who have lived by this can tell you what they expect. Experience. The results will shock you. It may cost you a few friends, but that is if those friends don't bring you peace. This year, I'm counting, I'm cutting off and letting go of negative people. I will embrace positive and focused people who want to grow and succeed. End of quote. Mm. Did she follow me? Did uh, she follow you? To her? Ah, you can remember when we were talking about New Year resolutions <laughs> and I said I will be extremely selfish this mm -hmm. year with okay. my peace of mind, mm. with my So you, you inspired her, right? Yeah, and like, I'm wondering how we're so... In sync. In sync. Mm. Yeah, you get me, mm. like, intertwined, like, because right now... Because you're just so mid. You are also cutting people off. Ah, no, no, I'm not doing all of mm. that. Like, mm. the cutting off. I'm just going to be extremely selfish with my happiness, my mm. joy, my peace of mind. Anything that makes me... I don't, I'm not concerned about the second or third party this year. Is that why you're mm. eating too much? I'll keep mm. talking you. You want to get fatter. Yes, and, and then I'm also learning how to say no this year mm. because I think um, I say yes a lot. And mm. then people, then I never like said yes to me. <laughs> oh, you I never asked me. Wow. People that ask me always ask her. She's a regular customer. <laughs> customer <laughs> that <laughs> time. <laughs> but this year, I've been seeing a lot of no's, and mm. I'm I'm also making sure I'm extremely selfish with my peace of mind. So I understand where Stella is coming from. And really, if you think about it, the world expects you to please them. I, mm. The truth yeah. is, you cannot please everybody. Mm -hmm. If you do this, they will say. Um, if you do this, they will say something negative. If you don't do that, they will say, "Yeah, hey, why is she not doing?" Or why is he not yeah, doing it? But I think it? it's as if but you're concerned about people's opinions. About no, it's not you. even about being concerned about people. People do not mind their business anymore. Especially in the age of social media where your business is everybody's business. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's That's not... That's why you make it everybody's business. I was about to say that. And no, if you are in public eye... Sometimes you just post a very, very innocent picture. And, they start and then some people start asking questions. Like, yeah, your true. business is every... If you're not putting it out there for it to be anybody. But they want to know. Mm -hmm. But they want to know. They start asking questions. You check your comments section and then you start seeing mm. different things so um this year i think everybody should follow through with what stella is saying be very selfish deliberately selfish and i think being selfish is just about thinking of yourself first yeah, so, putting, yourself first. yeah putting yourself first does Every it make you person. happy does mm -hmm. it improve you does it are you supposed to invest in yourself just put you first make you happy mm -hmm. make you yeah. resourceful and then any other person can come after that so. yeah i think i think she gave great advice for me i just like the wording Mm -hmm. Like the way she, you know, the way she like presented it, and especially when she said when she said she was going to be cutting people off. She said, uh, even negative. if they are not giving you peace of mind. No, she, she, said, she, she also said she's going to be cutting those that, people yeah. off. Mm -hmm. But she now said that the people that should actually be cutting off are people that are not giving her peace of mind. Mm -hmm. now that, and I'm like, okay, yeah, fine. It's great advice. But me, I just have issues with like cutting people off. The yeah, if you're not giving you peace of mind, cut, cut you off. 
you just when, yes, now if you when you say cutting when you say cutting people off what do when when people say cutting people off mm, what, what does, does that mean, mean? So you, you have not noticed though we have been sharing scissors on social media ah, so go and collect your own scissors and cut them it is supposed to the year when they go to the end of the year everybody's always posting oh this year i'm cutting this person off this year i'm cutting people off this year i'm cutting people off so i'm like what exactly does cutting people off mean maybe you need to find stella okay so if you ask me i say cutting people off is um if for instance you're always bringing um, bad vibe, bad energy. Okay. But I look at you like, oh, it's my family member. I can't. Do you understand? But every time you come, is to come and gossip about this other uh, um, relation. Come and gossip mm. about this friend. Come so you know that you mentioned that. You, do you know? I don't know if you guys have ever encountered people like that. But there are people that would. Okay, so if you look good from January to okay, from the first day of January to the thirty first of January, mm -hmm. they will never see you to say, "Oh, you look, you look good." good yeah. But the day, but the day, the day there is something wrong. They, yeah. they are the ones. Are you okay? I think is it that thing that yeah, I think people should Sorry. not wait until the end of the year to start saying, "I'm going to like cut this person off." I think it should be an immediate thing. If you notice mm -hmm. that this kind of person, that's my own. That's like the issue I have. But when you people are waiting towards like, the end of That's why I did not use um friendship as an example. I used okay. relations. Do you okay. understand? Like your actual relations. Whenever they come to your house, it's come ah, but I can eat the mama godoshi. They give you gist, they tell yeah. you, ah, this your mm. friend, mm -hmm. this your this, this your that. They're always bringing that bad vibe, and then they've never come to you to come and tell you that, oh, there's this beautiful business idea I think we can both venture yeah. into. You know, they're not bringing anything to the table, but every time they seem to come around, there's it some negative energy. Okay. So, this is the time, it's not that you will not pick their call, but when they tell you, ah, she only ah no much step out and see I'll be back in 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, ah 45 minutes okay. 45 minutes later they call you ah I'm still not back. But people like that don't call you really. They just show up. They just show, they just show up. People <laughs> with that kind of character they won't call you. Here knock at your door and if you're not expecting anybody do not open. That's yeah. so me. But me I'll just say. <laughs> That's me. That's me. The advice is great. Come by door from now till tomorrow you'll be. Yeah, the advice is great but me what I'll just say to people is that don't wait until. The end of 2020 because 2020 decision. has already started now. Yeah, I saw I saw when they asked Skibi about to, his New Year resolution that. and he was like, "Oh, New Year, New Me." Then he used a cuss word and he said, mm. "No, New Year, same me." <laughs> if you have a problem yeah, with it, because at the end of the day, you if um, the your 2019, the things you did worked out for you, you saw um, positive impact. Then why why the new you? I mean, okay. as well, just remain the same. Okay. Yeah. So, so, to people that are watching, I'll just say basically that don't wait until the end of the year before you start making resolutions. Make resolutions as the day goes by. You don't have to wait until the end of 2019 before you, on your day. Yeah, before you realize that you have need it. to. Hey, people are so mean in this matter, <laughs> but moving on. <laughs> Another Nollywood actress, Charity Naji, might be going through domestic violence, and this is going by the latest um, Instagram post. It read, Hard time for me. I need your prayers my fears as single mom but i really don't have an option right now hashtag say no to domestic violence so um well to be honest i don't really have an i don't know what this charity energy is mm. the first time i heard that story was with this mm, mom far the Momfa Instagram mm -hmm. guy that is like very rich on, um, mm -hmm. on IG. So that was like when I heard about that. And it's like every single time her, names, her name comes up in the news, it's not for, oh, Charity Naji was in this movie and she did well. Charity Naji did this. It's always for one negative controversy. story, controversy or the other. And I would say that this story is very vague. There's no like there's no substance to it when you look deep because like mm -hmm. we don't know because she said um a fear as a single mom has come to pass and then she said say no to domestic violence so we don't know what exactly is going on i just i don't i hope it's not like clout chasing sha i for me i feel i it is can if you say it's vague, it's possible. But if you also want to look at it and forget that she's always in between controversies, mm -hmm. you'll probably notice that. For me, I feel like she's saying she doesn't want to become a single mother. But the fact mm. that she's going through this domestic violence is leaving her no option right mm. now, right? So whatever mm. it is, I, I I just know that when I when I use myself as an example, I know I cannot even survive one slap. So I don't know how people stay in such relationship in hopes that this person will be better. Like, sis, it's wrong, but I admire that strength because yeah. I can never have it yeah. Yeah, I think forever. It is and I hope that me, she comes out of it. As much um, as the story might come out to be a, a bit vague, I'm mm. seeing a woman with strength, yeah. courage, and... Um, 
decisiveness because I'm going to embrace her women, fear. Yeah, a lot of women have stayed in relationships that they've been abused verbally, physically because of a child. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? They'll be like, oh, well, I don't want my child to grow up without a father, but you're not happy. Hmm. You're being slapped left, right, center every day. You're being treated like trash. You're in between every life day. and death. You're basically. in between yeah. life and death. But because you have a child, you want to stick around in that relationship. This is 2026. I saw something about a girl that said um, she was married. To, she was engaged. She was um, dating this guy for, for four, four years, years. Mm -hmm. and um, the guy slapped. The guy her twice. slapped her once. Twice. No, twice. twice. Mm, two okay, slaps. he slapped her twice. Mm. Yeah, but once. Mm. As in, it was the first time he slapped her, but it was two slaps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, it was double. It was the first it was time. Double, yeah, it was the first time. He slapped her twice. Then she moved on. She broke, she broke up, up with him. him. And the guy could not believe that she actually left because of a slap. Mm -hmm. So in his mind, he's like, ah, no, she just left for slap. somebody, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, he couldn't believe. But this is a time where women, we've seen women that have died. We've seen women that mm -hmm. they've lost a lot of things just because they stayed with a man that started with one, sl in fact, one pinch. Mm -hmm. One pinch turned to one slap. One slap turned to one kick. One kick turned to one blue. Before you know it now, it has <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so, at the end of the day, you need to make a decision for yourself as a woman. The mm -hmm, fact that yeah. a man will raise his hand, people will say that ah, that maybe you did something. Do forget what you did wrong. And also, any I man that was like, raised right would never raise his hand on a woman. You know how yeah. society can have. Exactly. Um, an opinion when they see a single mother or mm -hmm. now they call them baby mama or whatever you want to call them, they feel like oh, they made a mistake with their life and all mm. that. I don't know, but th this is a feeling. There are people that, women, not even men, women mm. that have gone out there to say bad things about other women that ended up as single That's mothers. Single mother, and when they now find themselves in that yeah, situation, situation, they are scared. They feel like, no, I don't want to become a single mother because, yeah, because of what the they have said about people. Because yeah. they too, they, they felt like they had the answer to everything that comes mm -hmm. with life at the tip of their finger, but they realize that it's not like that. So that is another struggle they have to go through because they feel like, no, I can't join the people I've been bashing. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, it's just about you and your happiness. Yeah, and just survive and be yeah. happy. Say no to domestic violence, like she rightfully said. And I hope mm -hmm. she actually gets the courage to move so on from it because it's, it's yeah. never is like if I said sometimes you're thinking of your child you're thinking of what people will say you're thinking mm -hmm. of people you've brand um, to, to say she oh I have the best right. man in the world and I mean best men can turn to the best man can turn to the worst man tomorrow mm -hmm. you know and I just tell people enjoy the moment and when that moment ends try to move on and find another happiness that's yeah. just it so I would say that to charity and Naji, whatever it is that she's um, going, going through to. she should find the strength to pull through and just take a walk from mm. the relationship because it's better I would always say that it's better to be alive than to be packing the um, trying to build or maintain an already broken relationship if mm. somebody cannot respect your body if somebody cannot respect you as an individual then there's no reason for you to remain in that kind of relationship sure. because when somebody is raising up his hand to beat you and somebody is because for me I feel like domestic violence always stems from a place of power dynamics mm. you're trying to show that you are more powerful than the person or that you you can control that Kind yes, of I think person. something that just builds that way because um, upbringing also comes into play in this. Now, if you were brought up in a home where you saw a man eating, so mm -hmm. that's why a lot of parents and um, we that are aspiring to be parents, we need to um, be mindful of the kind of examples we lay down for our children because I can't imagine my daughter seeing me always beating the mom. The mom. Mm. The mom. When, when, when she grows up, she will have a certain mindset. mindset from a mm. man. So even when a man does it, she feels like, okay, my dad did it and my mom stuck around. So yeah. let me just stick around too. Mm. Now, that also comes to play with the boys. The boy says their dad doing that every time. Their mom is sticking around. They'll be like, so it's okay for me to do it too. Yeah. So upbringing also matters. So a lot of parents should try and avoid what their kids see them doing. Mm. Lay down a good example, a good foundation and then you make the best so kids. basically for what you're saying i think i'll just sum it up to saying living an abusive relationship is is the best thing you can also do for your child yeah. Yeah. because i know you say you oh leave. i'm staying there because of my child but living is the best thing you can do for your child we can yeah. be co-parent we can do yeah. co-parenting you know we can have weekends. i don't think you should co-parent with an abusive partner though <laughs> It's time for a break, though. Well, but when we return, disqualified BB Ninja housemate Tacha might be talking a little too much. We'll be right back.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, <laughs> plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is City Time on Plus TV Africa. Ex Big Brother Niger housemate Anita Natacha Akide, popularly known as Tacha, opens up on why she and her former management T bills had to part ways. According to an interview with Sunday Scoop, she said her expectations were being met. She said, and I quote, when one signs up with a management, one would have expectations and targets. However, it's one thing to have expectations and it's another thing to have the expectations turn to reality. Sadly, that didn't happen, especially after the first month of being signed to a management. The drive I had and the drive they had did not match. I drew their attention to my concerns and also tried to manage the situation by being patient and hoping for a change. But things got worse as time went on. And after three months, I decided we should mutually disengage our business relationship for the sake of my brand, end of quote. Regarding rumors on intimacy between herself and T-Bill, she says people are always saying things and it won't stop. I don't know what what they mean by that. If their intimacy means that he's a good manager, then by all means he is. If not, if not, I'm lost. End of quote. Do you realize that that's <laughs> very contradictory? Yeah, yeah. like you just you called just him a good manager. Him, you just yeah. called him a good manager and then you said how oh, he wasn't able to execute. Yeah, 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 so but but then, so then it could still work because he, maybe his vision for her is not the vision she has for but herself. I, I, that I don't even understand what she's saying because as far as I'm concerned, Tasha has been trending like almost every day. My dear, training does not pay the bill, so. Exactly. But then it looks like, <laughs> well, it looks like she has had like good endorsements She just has so great far, titans. Basically. And, okay, maybe it's just the titans that mm. are doing all the work mm. then. Maybe t -Bills has not been doing anything. I'm just no, not, I, get, okay. I get where Tacha is coming from when she says that, okay, you know, when you sign up to a management, mm -hmm. you expect that, okay, things are going to pick up. But sometimes people don't face the reality that, mm. look, your brand itself is very controversial. It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of strategy yeah. before someone like you will be able to get yeah. as much endorsement as fast as you want them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand? Like, it's not that it's impossible, but it takes a lot of strategic planning and thinking for that to happen. And it also takes a lot of, um, what's it called? Energy. So if you're saying so, maybe T bills is actually trying, but you have too much expectation. No, not. I'm not even going to drag T bills on this one. Maybe I'm partially. Not even dragging T bills at because all. a month is not enough. Three months is not enough for any form of business to give you your expectations. Bam, bam. As soon as you know, I'm wondering what the expectations. The are. only part I'm going to bring in is the conversation we've had on Tea Time regarding mm. um, Tacha. And also, remember when Joyce Joy Ibewaji wrote this. whatever she wrote? And mm -hmm. I said it. I think it was Ewa that was on the show that day. And I said, I feel like the person we are seeing mm -hmm. is not the entirety of Tacha. Tacha. There is a lot of her that is being caged. There's a lot of her that you're saying, okay, no, don't do this. I know you mm -hmm. can tell someone you're too brash, you're too dazed, let's tone it down. But let's think about what her fans actually loved about her. They mm. loved the Tatcha that, the that would... Tatcha. All repentant Tatcha, the Tatcha yeah. that would say the way it is in her mind, mm -hmm. get up, make a video. No, maybe you don't, want to, maybe yeah, you don't want to twerk for the gram anymore. Great, that's like awesome, right? I'm not saying twerking for the, the gram brand. is a problem, but that's part of the brand. But I'm saying that part can actually go. But maintain your voice, be able to speak. Mm. But Tatcha became the person that only posts beautiful pictures. So it seemed like all you do is wake up and yeah. go for photo shoots. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that was all your so life was, all that was where they had So I, f I feel like, I don't know, I mean, I'm not touching. This is just my personal opinion. I want to liken their um, business relationship to a lion owner. 
you own a lion mm. and you want to tame it and you want to keep it as a domestic pet, mm. it's impossible. Mm. Do you understand? It's not a puppy, it's not a dog, it's mm. a cob. Do you understand? Tasha is wild and free. Do you understand? But T Bills, when he started managing her, he started seeing her cover up a lot. Yeah. The twerking thing wasn't all over there again. She uh, was being the full time lady. No, that's not the toucher we knew even before the big brother. Yeah. We wanted that same toucher back. Our titans may be supportive because of what they saw in the big brother. After a while and they start seeing this whole new toucher, trust me. I mean, Tasha used to be the person that gives her opinion on most of the trending issues. Do you understand? Issues like now, she doesn't talk anymore. She was only seen new photo shoots. She that before she went into the house and which was mm. I think one of the reasons she was even chosen to be in the to house. In the house so like, how do you now come out and too many things have happened in the space of three to four months they came mm -hmm. out of the house and Tatcha has nothing to say. <laughs> All she has to do is post a picture, post picture and yeah. tell us we're working, my team is working, we're having oh, a get together. There, and I feel like I feel like I understand there. where she's coming from. But at the same time, um, a month or three months is not enough. So I like that they are going their separate ways now. Yeah. And I hope that T Bruce does not take this relation um sorry this interview <laughs> personal <laughs> and then try to have like a club back and then we start yeah. dragging. I, mean, I just hope he drama. dies here. And well, I think I think that's why they are doing the damage control. You know, after she spoke about his management not being so good, she still said, oh, they mm. their intimacy is that he's a good manager. Mm. He so they are doing yeah. a lot of damage control at the same time while mm. they are bringing each other down. For we, me, I'll just say that for me, the real hero in this entire story will be Joy Isabel Aji because she I mean, predicted she said this it. a long time. I, mean, I, mean, I told you guys, she knows what she's saying. Exactly. I know that she can be too much. I yeah. know the word crazy. Joy mm. Isabel Aji can be too she much. Can I've, very had, opinionated. I've had first hand mm. experience we have with work yes. together she can be too much yeah. but, but she on made this one of sense. On and this i said one, it that she, day that she knew what she was saying exactly and, and look at it like how many, I how many months did. after what she said and look at what has happened already i think tacha did the better job Branding herself mm -hmm. than when she was with T-Bills. You know, and that was what I Joy think, was like saying. I, said, that I think T-Bills T -Bills cannot manage her brand. We had a vision. But yeah. then you have to be to able to her. merge your vision with her mm -hmm. vision and then have like an alignment that suits yeah. both sides. You cannot totally change a person. So, okay, so, so, so sometimes um, you're allowed to be the perfect lady mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. want to be, but sometimes we need you to go out to there be the and be that made us love you in the first controversy, place. Controversy, yeah. controversy is like, since the big brother house, we haven't seen any controversy. We've not seen any crazy thing from Tatcha, and yeah. that was one of the things that made people like her in the first place. Anyway, good luck Apart to Tatcha. Apart from people calling her an ingrate though. Whatever. Good luck <laughs> to Tatcha, and um, I hope she she moves uh, higher, right? Yeah. And good luck yeah. to see Bills too. Moving on, Sam Clef reacts to actresses getting car gifts. He tweeted, and I quote, everything I see, every time I see the female actress posting, I just got this Benz as a gift. Why is nobody getting the male guys, I'll be the male actors, the same gift? Is it because them not get the who's for Nash? End of quote. Like, okay, I feel like he has a point. <sighs> he doesn't have a point. But he doesn't have a point. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Because why he said this was, I don't know, there was one video like this that was trending on Twitter. Yeah, I'm sorry. One actress mm. lady that got a Mercedes Benz. Etinosa, first of all, I just, no, no, not Etinosa. No, so yeah, it's another actress. Yeah, yeah, she said Etinosa. Like this, yeah. wow. was gifted a Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. and then, I saw her driving it by the way one day. Oh, really? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's oh, not an audio Benz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for her. But anyway, so this actress, our uh, video was trending, and God, please, I don't want to comment on that video. That video was poor, terrible acting. Because mm -hmm. she did not, and for somebody who says that she's an actress, that video was just, I was just cringing. Because it was so obvious that she knew that the Mercedes Benz was there before she was just acting for the camera. Okay, but that is by the way. I think that was why Sam Clef now reacted like this, and he was talking about that particular video mm. where the actress, you know, but. Um, was gifted a Benz, but to me, I would also kind of like side with him because like we rarely see male actors being okay, gifted can I come in with Mercedes hmm. Benz. First and foremost, I can't remember who came out to say this, but remember somebody coming out to say these guys are now beginning to take away the sugar baby positions from the politicians, right? Mm -hmm. So you see all these things we are dragging ladies for. Yeah. Men, especially on the island that I know, <laughs> they do way more than it does want. Secondly, these guys get gifts. The fact that they don't come on social media yeah, to insane. flaunt it I'm, I'm, does I'm not mean that they, are, they, they don't have so maybe women that, is the that are going spending to give two their lives examples. on them. I'm going to give two examples. Mm -hmm. Funny Bone got a Mercedes-Benz car gift from mm. E-Money, right? Well, well, they will say it's different because we know who gave him the car. The Mercedes -Benz. But this one, we never, like, you know, no. just like a fan. Oh, oh, you know, oh. man, but you know guys yeah. like to be anonymous yeah. when it mm -hmm. comes to gifting a woman because yeah. most of 
these guys may even be married and they don't want their wives yeah. thinking, mm. oh, I'm having... Mm -hmm. Because that's what people will say, ah, why did you give her a car? You're sleeping with her. Mm -hmm. And that might not be the case. Maybe and this just person just did something person. for you or linked you up with a contract mm -hmm. or she knows somebody that knows somebody that she now linked you up okay. with and then you got a million dollar contract it's, and it's then you start like, seeing I like that. that. <laughs> and you're like, okay, yeah. let me show appreciation to this lady mm -hmm. because you are well connected. You linked yeah. me up with this guy. Mm -hmm. So you don't see everything doesn't have to be sexual before Much you get to gift somebody yeah. mm. a card gift. Mm. Junior Pope, the actor, got, also got a, 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 a Lexus GL 780 or 480, sorry, mm. 480. Mm -hmm. Recently, I think over the weekend, from E-Money and Casey as well. Mm. Do you understand? So like E-Money is when they're sponsoring all these actors now, because <laughs> okay, well, these two funny, actors you have mentioned, this is E-Money. That's what I'm saying. This is an E-Money and people can come out with it. Exactly. People know There are so many guys is. that are getting gifts and they're just and not they're talking not saying about anything. it. Yeah. Mean, it happens. And then every go, time actually. a woman gets mm -hmm. a, a gift, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily mean she's that sleeping with the person. So that's what I know. Three O's or two O's. And besides, I'm now thinking, okay, down I mean, there, not three that, there. That was, I was like confused. Not three, so, like, three holes. Um, there, like, okay. We'll go on a quick break. <laughs> down. But to all sweet dudes out there, all you got lovers, we've got big news for you. And if time permits, we'll also have one more story. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Welcome back. Pink Berry Gourmet Frozen Yogurt Nigeria is making it happen this January with three sweet offers. You get to enjoy three cups of the tasty and refreshing yogurts for just 2,000 Naira. But that's not all. Pink Berry is also giving us free frozen yogurt, free delicious cup of frozen yogurt on the 9th of January at Pink Berry Ikoyi and also the one in Victoria Island at Adjose at Diogun from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. This is very exciting. All you need to do is head over to to any Pinkberry Gourmet fro frozen yogurt store near you and be a part of all the mouth watering offers. <sighs> I'm sure I'm definitely going to get my own cup, but uh, time will not permit us to have time will not permit us to have one more story. So that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always you go to my co-anchors, Nimi Dekombi and Ife Oluwash, okay? And the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and have yourselves a good day. Thank you.